So what if we're going to pick up old school retro game PCs and we're going to turn them into retro emulation monsters? So in this video, we're going to do that. Hey guys, welcome back to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So last night I was thinking, okay, so having all of these old school systems like a Dell with a dual core in it, but what if we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the rabbit hole of game PCs? But nowadays all technology becomes really affordable and we can do some really great stuff with it. Not with this one, this is basically a GR6 of the Republic of Gamers of Asus. It's a Core i5, but it's not a super fast Core i5 with Windows 8. <laughs> so you need to upgrade this one. But in general, it's a really nice tiny machine. It comes with a GTX 960M. Maybe in the future we'll make a video about this, how to do this, but I not wanted to focus on this, but more like a fun product to show you what is out there. So ETA Prime is a very big inspiration for me. If you're looking at the stuff he makes, like turning your old PC into an emulation powerhouse, that wasn't just an amazing idea. To say having this old school Dell, have one of these things laying around, you can plug in the device and make yourself an awesome machine where you can play retro games for not a lot of money. But there was also one thing I didn't like is the form factor and the things you can do with it. Now for the money, hey guys, you know what I'm all saying? You can complain. When you're going to dive deep into the old school hardware, I found myself this MZ Trident number 3. And what I really like about it, it's pretty compact, but it is quite powerful. Most of them come with an i5 or an i7, 6th generation, in combination with a 1080 50 or a 1060 GTX card. So when you're looking at this, we have a lot of capabilities too, it comes to the power itself. And therefore I just wanted to focus on products like these because they are going to get really affordable. Here in my country we pay around 450 euro up to 600 euro for a machine like this. But let's take a close look at eBay. Sadly the price on eBay are a little bit different, maybe on Amazon they are better, but you can find a new one, but you can also buy yourself and maybe a used one that can be the same price amount. But then you will have more like a better performance and you could do way more stuff than an old school Dell PC. Of course, depends on what you want the person you want to do with this. But some time ago, we made this video about this Asus product, similar like the MZ Trident number no. 3. It comes with a very new generation Intel i5 or i7 combination with a GTX Nvidia card. So I think this thing has a lot of potential. But let's take a look at the price nowadays. Back in the day, these things run around $1000. And now here on eBay, I can even find one for $565. Of course not with shipment, but I wanted to show you that there are a lot of different versions out there and maybe you can pick it up from Amazon or a secondhand page. And with these machines you can do so much more than only retro emulation like the really old stuff they can use with the Pi. They are way more expensive but you can also use them with Windows or you can use them with Linux. So let's talk about this machine because we can do a lot of wicked stuff. But already mentioned that you want to play some old school Sega Mega Drive with or in Europe, but you want to have this Genesis experience. You can play this on a Pi. I have all these original games laying around. I love my Sega, but I can play it on an Android box. PlayStation 1 is nowadays playable on many systems, so we can enjoy it on my original PlayStation or get myself an Android box or a lot of other different systems out there. So, but still, if you want to have this experience, Maybe the Republic of Gaming from Asus can be a very nice addition to your game system. And this video I just want to use the i5 edition and we are going to use this one with Windows 10 in combination with Lunchbox is a great piece of software. The reason why you can pick it up for free if you want to and if you're going to get yourself a lifetime license you can do a lot of great features with this. But I just want to point it out that we're going to use it on this PC because we can bring all the emulators and games together and have more like the experience like in Retro Pi. Or of course Recall Box. We can even use it from Windows 7. So in the future we'll make some more videos about this product and what are my experiences in the end. Because I think if you want to build yourself an arcade machine, you can use this piece of software and it's not very expensive. Another great thing about this is if you're having a PC, you can basically use every single stick you maybe have in your collection. So having your new generation Mad Cat stick, you can just use it or a Razer stick. Nevertheless, it's just great and we have a lot of support. No Pandora box <laughs> stuff with using China crappy controllers. Use your original PlayStation 3 controllers. And if you want to use a retro bit control, a bit though, you can just plug it in your PC. And of course you need to reconfigure everything and you're just ready to go with this new system. 
So I think there are a lot of positive things we're using in PC compared with the Pandora's box. But when you're looking at Launchbox, we're having different ways you can represent your library. So when you're looking at here, we're having the arcade, computers and consoles. You can always set everything up to your personal preference. But I really like it, not especially when you're building a PC like this, you do need to use this for two dimensional games. Because again, we can run this on the Pandora's box or in Raspberry Pi. Especially what I do like about the system that we can run the high end stuff. Like N64 will run just great. We have a Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo Wii, we can run the Sega Dreamcast, but we can run them on basically 4K resolution or internal resolution. And there are things that we can do with a basic Raspberry Pi or a Pandora's box or an Android box. So finally, with some machine like this, we don't have any limitation when it comes to playing our old school games in the higher resolutions on your PC at home with a stick you really like or an other controller. But take in consideration that learning to use the Launchbox Big Box is super easy to do. And that's what I really love about this program. And everything looks very neat and nice. And you don't need to mess around with emulators after you set everything up. Okay, so let's play PlayStation 2. Soul Calibur 2. Okay, so the old stuff runs all just fine on the Pi and also on the PC, but I just wanted to boot up the high-end stuff like PlayStation 2, runs on the best resolution and it runs smooth 60 FPS. And man, it works like a charm. Where a lot of Android boxes have struggled with Sega Saturn, a PC like this runs it on the highest resolution with no problem whatsoever. Oh. PlayStation run, runs very well, even on the PC of course, but we can run it on even higher resolution than an Android box or Raspberry Pi. But this was not even on the latest emulator, this is just on the old school one, the EPSXE. Saturn and GameCube are always more like a mixed bag when it comes to Android boxes, Raspberry Pi, or they're not running at all. Nevertheless, when you're looking at this on a PC, you can run it on the highest 4K resolution on 60 FPS without any problems. So this is something you need to take consideration. Are you going to get a PC that is low end? You can play the old school stuff for not a lot of money. Or you're going to spend some money and you can play basically everything on the highest resolutions. And with the new PCs now, it's really affordable. The elevator, or else you'll be sorry. Sorry, Jim, you But yeah, guys, so a Redeem emulator in combination with this high end PC. Yeah, we can say that all the games will run on 4K. So far, the games are supported by the Redeem emulator. We have no problem whatsoever. And this will be a very good experience. Red Dream in combination with Dreamcast on the Nvidia Shield was already having a very good experience. But in combination with a PC, it's just perfect in my opinion. But for the price, it's always a little bit hard to say because in different countries, regions, some of these systems can be picked up for very cheap and some areas, they are just freaking expensive. And of course, don't forget what kind of juice we're going to get from these things. Because with an MZ Trident 3, we're going to get an i7 6th generation and 1060 and the older version of the Republic of Games have like lesser power. I think it can be a very great way to have more like a 2 one emulation machine and maybe we can make it with a dual boot. So let me know in the comments, do you want to see more videos regarding these gaming PCs, turning them into retro emulation monsters? Let me know. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the bell, become on the Wicked family and give the video a thumb up and I will see you in the next video and maybe one we're going to rebuild a PC into an emulation machine.